Hello everyone and welcome to Aquatics by Nature. This is the first of hopefully many little videos following the setup and progress of my low-tech natural soft coral reef. The purpose of which is hopefully to show just how simple things can be when you work with nature rather than fight it. Anyway, I thought it'd be a fun exercise to document this little process step by step for you. Uh, just to keep things simple, today's video I've just run through the basic equipment and setup. So here goes, part one, the ultra simple reef. Uh, the tank is roughly 60 by 30 by 40 centimetres, so it holds approximately 70 litres. But by the time you allow for the sand and future rock and decor, etc., it's probably near 50. On the right hand side, you can see a black filter box. This box contains just a power head for circulation and a heater. The power head is about 300 litres an hour, so only around six times an hour turnover, which is relatively low by reef standards. But when you allow for the sand, it is only that six times an hour after all. In any case, soft corals don't tend to like very high turnover rates that you normally associate with hard coral reefs. Plus, I don't want so much circulation that it constantly blows the sand around. But, but having said that, I do have the option of upgrading this pump if I feel there's need in the future. Uh, the powerhead outflow, as you can see, is directed upwards so that it agitates the surface vigorously. This is to make sure there's always good gas exchange, as this is critically important. There is no filter media in the filter box whatsoever. Uh, this is a deliberate policy, and the intention is to run this tank without a skimmer also. The purpose here is to set up a tank as naturally as possible, so I don't want to filter out the microorganisms that might help filter the system and function naturally. Under the sand, there is a shelf made of egg crate. This is simply there to prevent rocks, etc., sinking into the deep bed sand, a deep sand bed rather. The deep sand bed is approximately 10 centimetres deep and consists of very fine sugar grade aragonite. I've elected to use this very fine substrate because its mud-like consistency maximises the surface area for the microorganisms to colonise. It's also the optimum size for many slightly larger burrowing critters which also help to turn the substrate and stop it from stagnating and recycle every scrap of waste. Plus, being such a fine substrate, it will actually dissolve over time, which will help to maintain the pH, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, etc. Um, all of which hopefully will make the tank much less maintenance in the long run. I'm actually have, expecting to have to top this sand up over time as it dissolves over time like this. The salinity is currently 35 on my refractometer, for anyone who wants to know, and the water is RODI water, with basically a TDS of zero, where it was before it was mixed with the salt. And I think it's critically important to start off with the best possibly possible water you can. So that's basically it, simple as that. Really not a lot of equipment at all. Anyway, please feel free to post any comments especially if you have any areas you'd like me to elaborate on in the future. In the meantime, I'm really looking forward to sharing this experience with you all. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.